nice to nice meet, to you. meet you. Welcome Hi, to the show. Thank you. Good. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Wow. I, I hear your family wasn't so excited about you getting this part. Why? <laughs> well, um, I grew up in Georgia in a really small town, and my Nana is actually a pastor. So The Exorcist wasn't her first choice for me at all. I called my mom, and she was like, Oh no, why did it have to be this one? <laughs> and uh, and she said, well, maybe when you get there, they'll all just decide they want to make Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> yeah. I said, I don't think that's how it works, but okay. Yeah. That ain't how Hollywood <laughs> Exorcist, don't mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All the movie, everybody. That was the first really horror movie that I ever went to see. And we had just gotten our driver's license and we drove. And we were in my buddy's car. We all set a seat apart at the theater. Mm -hmm. When that movie was over, we was all next to each other. <laughs> I slept with the light on for about a month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does your family watch the show? <laughs> they do, but really reluctantly, I think. Uh, I told him, I was like, you guys don't, you, sh you don't have to watch. Like, you don't have to watch it. And my mom was like, no, we have to. We have to see you, because it's my first like show. <laughs> They're all excited. Um, but my mom, after she watched it, she said, I'm going to send everybody Bibles, all the cast and crew. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think that's expensive, but OK. Now, you tape in the same studios as Empire. Mm -hmm. I hear you've had some run-ins with the stars. Well, a lot of shows shoot at, at our studios. And everybody looks nice. Like, we're, they're all making, like, TV shows where you look sharp and all the women look really pretty. And I look not great. Not my best. <laughs> I'm covered in scabs and boils and all kinds of stuff. And I, I forget that I look like that. So one day on set, I was, like, running to the bathroom, and there's a bunch of girls from Empire. And they're all in, like, dresses, and their hair is done, and they look great. And I run in, they're like, oh, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm good. I just, and nobody knew the show yet because it wasn't out yet. I was like, yeah, it's makeup. It's makeup. Don't worry. But they were like, oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> like, sure. I, I understand as a newbie to Chicago, you have a question for me? I do. So growing up in Georgia, and now I live in L.A. when I'm not here working, I'm not used to weather. Like, it's hot or oh. L.A.'s mild. And, yeah, so... I've heard that winters can be rough here, and when we did the pilot, it was like March. So how do you, how do I prepare for these winters? I haven't even dealt with it yet. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. There, there's nothing. There's nothing to prepare you for what's about to happen. Uh oh. No. <laughs> January's coming. Uh oh. And um, are you familiar with uh, the Hulk? What's that? You don't know what the hawk is. No. Oh, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be on Michigan. Oh. You're going to be on Michigan Avenue, mm -hmm. and you're going to come out of a store. Mm hmm And this thing called a hawk, you can't see it. Okay. It's just a set of talons. <laughs> and the hawk come and tear all your damn clothes off. <laughs> it just got to just tear through it and let wind in it. And mm. that's what's called the hawk. Oh. And what will really be fun is after you've been up here for about three weeks dealing with it, have your family come up. Yeah, yeah. Bring the Bibles. <laughs> okay. It was really good. Can I tell you something? I have a prediction for you. Okay. You're going to be major in this business. Oh, thank you so much. You're going to be major. Thank you. That means a lot. You come from good family. Thank you. You're going to be major. Good luck thank to you. you. Thank you so nice much. Nice to meet thank you. Real so pleasure. Much. You're a sweetheart, too. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, darling. So hey, you can catch The Exorcist on Fox Friday nights at 9. Watch it right before you go to bed. Uh, we'll be right back, folks.